Hey folks, this is Vincent Natalie with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly check out Trekking Through History. This game supports two to four players, it's for ages 10 and up, and the average play time is about 30 to 60 minutes. This will be our first time playing, so as I always say, we may get a rule wrong or two, but we are here to spread awareness. And I'm really excited for this one. It's very beautiful to look at, and it's pretty easy to play based on what I've read. Uh, before we get into the rules, here's a quick look at the box and some of the stuff that we're not using for this particular game. Um, I'll explain what all of these are in a minute, but everything sort of has its place here in this box. So everything, it's like a puzzle piece you got to put together once it's all said and done. Quick look at the rule book. The rule book is about eight pages or so of this size. Uh, again, pretty easy to play. One thing I will mention is that there is an advanced variant to this game that I have not even looked at yet. But when you are ready, uh, go ahead and open this up and this involves time warp. So this is a more advanced way to play. What it entails, I couldn't tell you yet because this is our first time playing. Um, there's also uh, a tray here that comes with the game. These contain all of the resources. These are crystals that we'll be earning, and we'll explain what those are in a little bit. And we'll also be earning these different colored pieces in order to add them to our uh, artillery there. So let's go ahead and put that off to the side, like so. And here is the play mat. This is not a board, but it's a mat that you can roll up, one of those rubber mats. And there are three decks in the game. This is like the first day deck, and you can tell it's the first day by the Roman numeral in the upper right hand corner of the card. So there is a deck for the ones, and then off to the side here is a deck for the twos, and then there's a deck for the threes as well. You're gonna shuffle each deck individually, and you're gonna set the ones out like so. So there's one card per space, plus the deck over here. It's supposed to be face up like that, because you can actually take from any of these six on your turn. I'll explain what that is in a minute. You're also going to put out a number of these ancestor cards based on the number of people playing. In a two player game like we're playing today, there's gonna to be uh, six of these cards out here. I am blue, she is red. Um, and over here is the timer for the game. As we take cards and add tokens to our personal boards, we'll be advancing time and the day ends when the stopwatch goes all the way around to the 12 again. Uh, this is a quick distribution of all of the different cards that are in the various decks under the days. So day one, day two, day three. And this doesn't make a whole lot of sense to you right now, but uh, you'll see these are essentially just dates, like 37,000 BCE all the way down to 1903. So if you ever see 1903 come up, in the day one deck, you'll know that that is the last possible date in that deck. And that is important for a reason that I'll get into in a minute. But we'll just go ahead and put this off to the side. I'll put this over here for you so you can look at it. There's also these reference cards here and I'll explain now, I guess, uh, how the game is played. So on your turn, you're going to choose a card. Uh, you, you can either choose an ancestor card or you can choose one of these six cards. You cannot pick an ancestor card if this is your first card in your run. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick one of these cards, like so, let's just say I pick this one, and then you're going to move your stopwatch on the track there, then that is uh, the number on the bottom left-hand corner of this card. So if I were to pick this card, I would move my stopwatch two spaces. Now, for every crystal that I return back to the supply, I can reduce that by one, uh, to a minimum of one. You can never go below one. So I cannot spend two crystals to just simply not move. I have to spend a minimum of one. After I do that, after I move my stopwatch, I'm going to gain whatever tokens that are on the bottom right of the card in addition to the icon that is on the bottom part of the board here. This one will get you nothing. So if you pick this card, you only get what it's on the bottom right here. But if you were to pick this card, I would get a red for here and a red for here. I will add those tokens to my uh, current artillery, which is just, it's just an outline. Uh, you can, you're gonna be adding these tokens from top to bottom. As you fill up point spaces, you're immediately going to score points. If you happen to complete rows going across, you're gonna earn the points listed on the right. Each player is dealt four of these at random at the beginning of the game, and they're going to choose one for the first round, and then after the first round, discard it. Then they're gonna pick another one out of the three they have left. 
for round two, and then they complete round two, and then one for round three. If you don't know which one to grab, then just pick one at random. I have not figured out the strategy behind this yet. Uh, each player starts with one of these. Just It's a crystal holder, essentially. You get one crystal at the start of the game. But yeah, that's, that's the overall idea, is collect cards, earn tokens, and add them to your current itinerary. Now, um, another thing to... Uh, worry about are the runs. I was referring to earlier about cards being a certain date. Now, whenever you create a run, you're going to put the first card, say, in your run here. The next card that you play, if it is a later date than this, then you can add it to the current run and keep going. The longer you create a run in that manner, the more points you earn at the end of the game. However, the moment that you break that pattern and pick a date that is prior to whatever the current card is, you end your current run, or your trek as it's called, put it off to the side, you'll score that at the end of the game, then you'll start a brand new run. So you're going to earn uh, points for multiple treks as you play them throughout the game. And what's that? Is Picard and Riker going to be in this? Just because the word <laughs> Shrek is in this game does not imply that we'll be visiting the 24th century, okay? It was a time warp <laughs> advanced mode. Well, maybe they are in. I, I can't verify that. I didn't look at it yet. Um, the reverse side of the reference card... You got me all screwed up. Now. Sorry. The reverse side of the reference card outlines what you do at the end of every round, and we'll get to that when we get to that. All right, so I think that's good enough. Uh, we'll go ahead and just play the game, give it a try, hope for the best. So You're going to pick one of these. Oh, so we pick one. Yeah, just pick pick one you want or pick one at random. It doesn't matter. Okay. I'm just going to pick this one because whatever. I can just keep the other three off to the side. And you'll create your runs here so the camera can see it. So, and I'll, I'll create your runs here. I'll yeah. create my runs here. And when you're done with a run or a trek, just put mm -hmm. them off to the side. So there's only three days. So that means this is day one. This is day one now. And then these will be day two and day three. And, and then one of these will, will just not, not be used at all. Now, mm -hmm. what are these called? Artineries. Is that not correct? <laughs> what is it? Itineraries. You're forgetting a whole syllable. Shut up. <laughs> you know what? I have trouble with that word. <laughs> I didn't want to it's a wrong. schedule. I'm calling it. Schedule. It's a schedule. It's a schedule. <laughs> Harassment. <laughs> you know what? You do this. No, no. You from here on out, you do these videos. Okay, so you cl collect your itinerary. You know the fact schedules. The fact yes, you're. Sc I'm calling them schedules from here on out because I'm having trouble with that word. No. No, my speech right. impediment. No. no, I can't. No schedule. They're, they are henceforth known as schedules. <laughs> what, do you, what do you have? A speech. <laughs> Get out. Jet blue. <laughs> We gotta cut that You're out. You're going back to Massachusetts. <laughs> okay. So who goes first? This is gonna be a great advertisement <laughs> video for the developer to post. All right, anyway. That whole part's gonna be No, it's out. not. It's a blooper. It's a blooper. Anyway. <laughs> so the schedules. You picked your schedule. I got my schedule, right? Okay, great. You keep laughing. So you get to go first. You are on top. Um, whoever is furthest back or on top that is furthest back okay. will get to go. Uh, so it's not an I go, she goes, I go, she goes. It's it's sort of like in patchwork. Whoever's furthest back keeps going. Okay. So uh, what would you like to do? You're going to pick a card. Here's your reference card in case you need uh, a refresher. Yeah. So you're going to choose a card. Okay. It cannot be an ancestor for your first card. That's right. But these are great in case, like, let's say you want to keep going chronologically, but you can't do it because all the cards out here are mm -hmm. days prior. You can use this. This question mark takes on the form of your current date. It just matches it. Yeah. Okay. So you can keep your run going at the cost of three time. And you also get a wild. Okay. The purple ones are wild whenever you see purple. Cool. Um, I guess I should explain anytime. This is a crystal. This symbol here, this little, this is a crystal. Yeah. So anytime you get a card or take this card here, you get a crystal which again, reduces the time that is spent. Mm -hmm. These purple ones are wild, and the rest are just of these four colors, red, blue, yellow, and green. Okay. Okay? Cool. So go ahead and uh, pick a card. And... I'll so... pick this one. Okay, so you're gonna start at 2000 BCE. Yeah. So you get a green one, okay. and you add that to your schedule right away. Schedule. You also move two <laughs> on the time track there. Unless they use... Unless, do you wanna spend one to move back a space? Yeah, why not? 
Okay. <laughs> so now you're back at one. All you're right. Bite me in the foot. Mm -hmm. later, but that's one funny. thing I didn't mention, folks, is that the reason why you may want to hold off on that, if you go around the board and land on 12 exactly, you get three punctuality points as a bonus. If you actually, if you go past 12, you just go stop at 12 and you don't get the points. I see. So it pays to try and land on 12 exactly when you go all the way around. Now, do I get a blue one as well? You do as well. So you get to put a blue one on top there okay. and you go from top to bottom. Okay. Okay. So that starts your run. And is there anything else that we missed? Place card and tracks, slide. And, yep. We slide and refill. Cool. All right. It is now my turn out of all of these. I think I'm going to take 708 BCE. Uh, that is two time, one, two. And um, that is a blue one and a red one. Mm -hmm. So red one goes there, blue one goes there. I'm going to slide and refill. And I think that's it. I'm going to take the... Uh, it itinerary. 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 <laughs> Schedule. <laughs> I'm calling it a schedule. I keep I, in my head. I keep thinking yeah. artillery, I, I, like I, like the the cannon artillery. <laughs> itinerary sounds like the factory that makes itineraries. I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna take this one. All here. right. All right. So that gets you what? A crystal and a blue. All right. So how many points? How many times is that? Two. Two. One. Two. Mm -hmm. So you get a blue one. A blue one. And a crystal. Now you cannot, from my understanding, you cannot spend yeah. these the turn that you get them. Yeah. That's okay. So these all slide down. All right. And you, this run is valid, 2000 BCE. Again, the further back you go, it's, it's the higher date to zero and then zero to, yeah. This is before common era, I believe. Okay. 500 BCE is looking very nice, but it's four freaking points, uh, four time rather. <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, that's 506. That's cheaper. Uh, red and yellow. I need yellow. This is a wild. Wilds can be put in any column I so choose. So if I take this one, although here's the thing though, you've already taken 221 BCE, so there's a chance that you won't take that. So I'm going to actually take this one for wow. two time. Very nice. Uh, one, two. And as a bonus, I get a red and a yellow, mm. my benefits. Very nice. All right. And um, I just slide these down like so. Very nice. Very nice. I keep forgetting that you can grab the ones You that can. I like. You just don't get this. Uh, There's no icon there on the bottom left. Bless you. And if you ever need a rundown, she's about to sneeze. Schedule. Sorry. <laughs> that just actually took my sneeze away. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, again, if you need to see the breakdown of what's in deck one, that's all that on the right there. Okay. Um, you know what? You know what? You know what? I will take this one. All right. So that's two time. Mm -hmm. One, two. You want to spend any pink tokens? No. No. Okay. Green and a red. Green and red. One and two. Now, is this ending? Immediate. Oh, these are immediate. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. how would you track that in rounds two and That's three? That's true. So, uh, what is that? Three points? Three points. All right. So and it seems that if you fill all of these, you correct. get six points. Correct. You can fill a row and score the points on the end there. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So, these all slide down like so. Now, if I take this one, that's the next logical one and chronological. I mean, 506 to 500. They're very close together. I would get it's four time, however. I would get a wild, I would get two yellow. Um, so what I may want to, I think I will take that one. Mm -hmm. it just makes sense to me. It's four time one, two, three, four, and I get a yellow, mm -hmm. which goes here, and I get another yellow, which goes here. Wow. Um, I also get a wild. So my dilemma is do I put this here? Mm. Or do I put this here and get two points? This is five, this is two, but if I get another red, I can possibly get ten. I think I'm going to cover this up for two and get two points from that. So I'm up two points. And if I can get one more red, I can get ten points from this row. And I'm, I'm going to hope I get another yellow too while I'm at it. Mm -hmm. So these all slide down, and it is your turn because you're furthest back. Yes. Let's see. Ugh. 
And by the way, uh, just so you know, these cards, uh, they each describe an event like drink hot chocolate with the Mayans. Um, on the back, it actually has some information which you guys can read about and learn about. Uh, like your chocolate with a bit of a kick, the Mayans truly drink their chocolate hot, and so on and so on. So I love these little educational things back here, these little, very well done. Very, but I'll save that for the end of video stuffs. Okay. What looks good to you? All of it. All of it, okay. I'm going to do some cray cray. All right. I'm that is crazy for you young folk sorry. out there that don't know what cray cray is. Cray cray. I'm going to actually take. Ooh. That would be mm, interesting. Ooh, this is tough. This just got really tough. You think? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna take this one. Mmm. Twelve. Yellow 30. and blue. Yellow and blue. That's for what three time? Yes. Okay. Do we need a crystal? No. Okay. Now I get six points. You do get six points immediately. So you're on three, so you move up to nine. Okay. And it, is it still my turn? It is still your turn because you're on top there. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Good, huh? I am going to take... Huh. This one. 1809. All right. And that is what? One time? Well, hold on a second. Hold on a second. If I did one, two, three. Hold on. See, this is this is tough now. Is it? <laughs> wow. This just got really tough. <laughs> <laughs> Quit looking at my board. I'm not. I'm looking at the time thing. Sure you are. <laughs> okay. So if I did... Oh, wow. Okay. Oof. Wow. I'm hurting. I'm hurting right now. You're going to take that one for, that's one time. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Wait, what do you have? <laughs> what you're, do I you're, have? You're probably... Quit looking at me. You're probably going to take... Yeah, you're probably going to take that one. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Hold on. So you're going to take either one of these if I did... Hmm. Interesting. Okay, here's what I'll do. I'll do something even crazier. All right. I'm going to take this. Okay. And I'm going to put it here. That's four time. Four time. Now, do you want to use a crystal, though? Hold on. <laughs> okay, all right. I will not use a crystal. So that, that brings you exactly... So you get three points for that. Yes. Is that, are you sure you want to do this? Because I know you like to take change your mind. I do like to change my mind a lot. No, I'll do it. All right, so you get three points. One, two, three for landing exactly on that. Yes. You get two red in a wild. I there feel like go. I just shot myself in the foot. <laughs> and you also get a crystal, right, for yes. that taking that card. And I also get another crystal because I'm going to fill up this one. Okay. Here. There you go. So you got three crystals over there. Yes. These slide down. Oh, that's only one point though. All right. Now I got to figure out what I want to do. The nice thing about this one is that, I mean, 1903, that's the last card in the deck. If I take this, uh, I'd have to start a new run. Uh, so I may want to wait on that. Um, okay. This one is 1809. The next logical one would be this for three, only because of the date, 655. But yellow would give me five points, at least, and blue would give me a crystal. That's not bad, but I need to end, the, end this round with another couple of red, well, at least one red to get a 10. So if I did take this, I'd end up one, two, three. This would slide over. And I could just take that one to end the round, I think. Or take this 1809 one just for this. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to take this one for three time. One, two, three. And that gets me a blue. And that in turn gets me a time crystal. And also a yellow one. 
which earns me five points for covering that up. Wow. So I'm up to seven. And these slide down. 12,000 BCE. That's the second earliest card. Yeah. Now, I, I need to spend one time, which I can do this one or this one. 1903 would give me two red and a blue. Uh -huh. But blue is filled up completely already, so it doesn't do anything for me. Uh, even filling up two red is kind of useless because it doesn't do anything to me either. I just need one red. Um, so I think I need to take the earlier date. Um, or that's five time. I could forego... I could forego earning three punctuality points in favor of wow. taking this 900 one. Um, that's a blue, green, crystal, Damn. and a, that's a lot, but I'd be wasting the blue. The green wouldn't matter. I'd gain a crystal and a red. So how important is that to me? How, how important is this crystal going to be? Is it worth three points? I don't think so. But then again, look at that. It's, it's 900. The next round, I'll have a lot more power, I think, to complete my... I think I'm going to forego three points. It's probably going to shoot me in the foot later. I'm going to take this fiver just to keep the, the dates relatively close together like this. Mm -hmm. That's five. Now, I overshoot my mark big time, mm -hmm. big time. So I don't get three points. Um, but I do get a red, um, which is this here. And in turn... This gives me 10 points, so oh, I'm up to 17. So when you start on the day two, you don't automatically start a new no, run? No, you, you continue. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, look at the reverse side of your reference. It tells you how that all works. Um, I also get a blue, which doesn't matter, a green, which, again, doesn't matter, and a crystal, like so. And that's it for me. Oh, I gave myself 10 points for that. Okay, so that's it uh, for the round, first round. So all of these, let's go ahead and take a look at the reverse side. Discard the current day deck and all the history cards in the departure row. This is the departure row. So all of these cards now go away. And I'm going to do uh, that. And then one, two. I like three. this game so far. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's cute. Four, five. So this is the round two. Mm -hmm. um, next, we discard all of this stuff. So all of these go back. Do we count no, no, you, that end game? No, no. That's at, at the end of the game is when you count crystals. Don't okay. worry about that right now. Okay. For right now, just clear off your board. And you're going to put that off to the side and pick a new one. Cool. And these go back into the supply. Wild... Blue, 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 and yellow. All right, so this is gone. Put that off to the side. And I'm not sure <laughs> which one to pick, so I guess I'll just do one at random. Um, sure, this one is fine. Okay, but we keep our current run. Just, just to do this, I'm going to stagger these like this. That way the camera can see the current date something okay. like that you can still see how many cards you have in your run yeah. like one two but the okay. top date's the important thing yeah okay so because i am on top here that yeah. means i will go first oh you're so good at this stuff <laughs> uh, if you say so but all of these options are not all that appealing to me um i kind of want two red two blue and two yellow so i can get this seven points but this immediate three looks kind of nice, but there's not a whole lot of green out here to do that. Um, 520. That's only worth two. Uh, that would start a new run. I need something after 900. So it's either going to be this one, this one, or this one. This is the this is the earliest date, but that's four freaking time. I might. All right. You know what? I'm going to spend some crystals. I think I'm going to take 1493. Mm -hmm. And um, that's four time, but I'm going to spend, you know, I'll spend, I'll spend two. And that reduces it by two. And I get a crystal back. Mm -hmm. And I get a blue and a yellow. Yep. There we go. And these slide down. Hmm. And it is your turn. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna get a 1300. Okay, that's a good choice for you. No, 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 it's BCE. That's I mean, BCE, I, yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that screwed me all up. <laughs> oh no! Okay, oh my god, I didn't even... Now keep in mind, you don't have to keep going. You I just know. simply score more points if you keep it going, but yeah. you can have multiple... Uh, you can have multiple tracks at the end of the game to score. You know what? I'll take this one. 1601, you say? Yeah. All right, so that is how much time? Five. Five. Do you want to spend any crystals to reduce it? At most, you can reduce it to two. All my crystals. All your crystals. All right, and now you get to go... Uh, uh, well, let's get your stuff first. Yeah. Blue. Blue. And what was on... Red. Red, wild, and what else? Crystal. All right, red, wild, and crystal. Mm -hmm. And the wild can go on any column. I'll put it here. On the yellow one? Mm -hmm. Oh, on the blue. Okay. On the blue. All right, so these slide down and you get another go. Okay. 16. The only ones I can do is, no, oh, no, no. Oh my God, that would be four. That's a lot. You know what? <laughs> Let's go with... <laughs> Oh, I'm so bad at this, but it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's do this one. All right, so what is that time? Three? Do you want to spend your crystal at all, or just keep it? I'll spend it. You're gonna, <laughs> you love spending those crystals. That's two. Yeah. One, two. And you get red. a green one? Yeah, green. A red and a... Crystal. Crystal. All right, so there's your crystal, and there's your red. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And these slide down. No slide down. And it is your turn. My turn. Well, 1564 is the next logical step for me. It gives me a yellow and a blue, which brings me to here to help me get seven points. I think that might be worth it. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take 1564. I'm going to get eight. That's three time. I'm actually, well, is, do I need to go next? 1640 might be some. Yeah, you know what? I will spend a crystal. So that I can land on top of you and mm -hmm. go next. Okay. Um, that was a uh, blue and a yellow. This one and that one. So blue and yellow. Okay. And I get to go again. I will take this one, which gives me two red and a wild. It's four time. One, two, three, four. 1640. And... That gives me two red, mm -hmm. one, two, and a wild. I think I'm going to go here to get three points, although what are the chances? I'll, there's no whole lot of blues out here. Yeah, I may, I may do the blue. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put the wild there to get three points. So I got seven from this call or from this row mm -hmm. and three from covering that. So it's wow. 10 points, so mm -hmm. I'm up to 27. And I think that ends it for me. I'm surprised you bought this one instead of waiting. What do you mean? Because you spent crystals to stay ahead, but I couldn't have purchased it. Yeah, but it was on... Um, it was on a red spot. Well, yeah, I needed two reds red. to uh -huh. fill this up, and I didn't... If you took a card, this would slide down, and I wouldn't I wouldn't get that benefit anymore. See, you're so good. You're so good at this. No. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Homina, <laughs> homina, homina. I'm going to take... This one. 1905. So that's a blue? Yes. Oh, how much time is that? Three? Three. You want to spend any crystals? Mm, nah, not yet. All right, so that's a, I'm sorry, blue, red, and yellow, right? Mm -hmm. And a crystal. Mm. And a crystal? Yeah, because I'm going to land on that. Ah, blue. okay. There you go. Okay, and I get seven points. Ooh, big spender. 19. There we go. Okay. And then these move down. They do indeed, and you get to go again. Okay. Oh, that's such a pretty card. I almost want it just for the art. <laughs> the Dance Ballet with Maria Tallchief. <laughs> Information on the back. Get swept away in the moment of ballerina Maria Tallchief as she leaps across the stage in the Nutcracker. <laughs> There's more information, but I'll let you guys read that on your own. Ooh, that would be cray cray. 
You and your cray cray. Sorry. I've never heard you use that word more than <laughs> once in, in our book. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay, if I can get two more, that would be awesome. I will do. Ugh. <laughs> wow. Ugh. <laughs> Oh, oh, I gotta think. I gotta think. You got this. Okay. What is my strategy? Well, it, it helps you've got five time left, plus whatever crystals you want to spend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna spend four on this. All right, so that's four time. Yeah. Wait. Oh, shoot. No? Uh, this is 1953 on day That two. makes sense chronologically, but whether or not it fills up the colors you need, that's, I don't know. I'm not sure what you're going after. You have 1640. <gasps> Your only option would be to, that, to play that one, which would be two reds and that's three. If you had actually taken this one, it would be a waste for green yellow and red so i don't think you would actually go for this one you would most likely go for that one so maybe but then again if i take that one then the only option would be this one for you unless i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to so you're gonna do yeah. four time yeah two three four damn you want to spend any crystals You can that would be two, right? Right. You would go down to here to nine o'clock. No, I'll, I'll wait. You'll wait. Yeah. All right. So you get a yellow. A yellow. Two yellows, actually. Two yellows, a red and a green. Two. Uh, here's two yellows. Mm -hmm. A red and a green. Red and a green. Any points to mark off? Yes, yeah, six points. I just filled in two yellows. Ah, nice. So six plus 19 is 25. Yep. All right. These slide down. Well then, not a whole lot of options. Um, this, like she said, this is all of these are earlier dates, so I might go for 1951. Mm -hmm. That's one time, and that's a red and a red. So that gives me a crystal and three points. So I'll take that, and three is up to thirty. Mm -hmm. um, this slides down, and I get to go again. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All of these cards are earlier. However, I am going to visit the ancestors for three time, get a wild, which I can add anywhere. It doesn't matter because no matter where I add it, it's just wasted. I'll put it there. Um, but that gives me 10 cards in my run, which is enough to just get 30 points for it. Um, that's three time, which I will use. One, two, three. I get three punctuality. One, two, mm -hmm. three. And that's, that's it for me. Yeah, I'm going to have to do the same thing because... You're going to take this too? Unless I start a new... Run. You can spend... Yeah, well, how many cards do you have? I have nine right now. Okay, so nine is 21 points and 10 is 30. So if you... You, if you start a new run now, you're missing out on nine points, but it's up to you. If you think you would benefit from one of these early cards like this, or from, you can make up your nine points somewhere else in your tableau, then by all means do it. Like a red and a green and a blue, that's yeah. ten. I can get ten points, I would have to start a new run, but I feel like, is that going to be worth it? I don't know. So, nine... And then, oh, actually, actually, eight, nine, ten. Would that new crystal be eleven? That would not be. Wait, one, two, three. Yeah, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That would not be worth it because I would miss out on that and the new run and I'm present. Okay, I will do the question mark. The ancestors. Yeah, and I will spend both my crystals to be punctual. Okay, so you get three points. One, two, three. You also get a wild. And which I'm going to put that on five points. All right, so you get five more points. So 28 plus five is 32. Yeah. Oh, 33. So we're tied. Yeah. 
This is nail biting. That's it. Um, so at the end of this round, um, these all go away. Mm -hmm. Crazy. And we are now on the last round. Last day. Last day. All right. And you. Well, we got to pick our random. Yep. 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 All right. So yellow. No, I thought it because I wanted it. <laughs> I'm just making them. I, it's better if I just don't pick up my schedule. Schedule. <laughs> schedule. Schedule. All right, so I'm going to pick. You got tokens over there? Yeah, okay. I'll just keep them here just so I All can right. reach them better. All right, what, what looks good to me? I don't know. This one looks nicer to me. Yeah, I think I'll take this one. Oh, so we can just pick random, huh? You well, You can pick random or you pick the one that you want. This mm -hmm. one looks friendlier in terms of points. Ah, lucky. Okay, hold on. Let me just pick. That's actually a good strategy. You know what? Let's go with this one. Ooh, that's hard though. I would need. Mm hmm. <laughs> you are Sorry. mathing it hard Sorry. right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is a math game, that's for sure. Uh -huh. I feel like that's such a horrible... It's 20. 8 and 12. It takes 3 and it takes... 3, 4, 3, 4 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then this would be 8, 9, 10. Ugh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm good. I'm happy? Sorry. Yeah, sure, whatever. You get to go first. <laughs> Pretty sure I got everything right. done. Yeah, discard current. Yep, okay. Okay. So you get to go first because you're on the oh, top there. All of these are terrible. <laughs> yes, they are. There's no BC, BC, BCE. Well, look at your... There's. It goes from 70 BCE to 1994. Yeah. All of these are really high cards. Yeah, they are. Although you're at 1953 right now. Yeah. You're 1951. 1951. We are like time traveling together, kind of? Yes. Sure. Okay. I'm almost tempted to continue, but that would only be three points. You know what? Yeah, let's go 998. All right, so that means that your current trek ends. So just put them in a pile up, uh, yeah, off to the side, face down. That way you know. And I get All right, so you get two yellows, yellows and a red. I got it. Oh, you got it? Yeah, I yeah. got some extra ones here. All right, I will slide these down. And how much time was that? Three? Yes, sorry. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, <coughs> 1951. 1951. Um, let's do... 1959, I'm just going to sort of do ah. something like this, and that's two time, one, two, and that's uh, one red, uh, one red and two yellow. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And these slide down. 1959, mm -hmm. uh, this one is tempting for two time as well. 1969, however, is, uh, that is the only card that is ahead. So, but this gives me a time crystal and a green, which I do need green. And it's only two time. The question is, could I go again after that? Um, likely not. Unless, all right, so if I do start a new run, what would I pick after choosing this one? You know, let's do it now. Um, well, here, I need to decide whether or not I'm going to use a time to, to go back on. If I land on you, I get another turn. So I'm mm -hmm. trying to figure out in my head if it's a good idea to do this or not. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I could take red, blue, green, blue. And that brings me down two blue and one green. Um, if I started a new run with 1815, but that is awful to start a run at 1815. <laughs> Um, all of these are really high in terms of dates. Yeah, they are. So I feel like, I feel like I do 1969, mm -hmm. like so, and it's worth two. I'll, I won't go back. 
I won't I won't use time crystals. And I get a green mm -hmm. and, a, and a crystal. Very nice. So I will take that and these slide down. I'm hoping for something better. <laughs> well, <laughs> not at all helpful at all. Okay. I will take... Okay, here's what I'll do. That is a lot of crystals, which I may possibly need. Although... Okay, I'll take this. Taking 1815. Yep. That's four time. You have no crystals to spend. No crystals. One, okay. two, three, four. So it's two, two blue, a red, and a green. Two blue, red, green. Got it. And that gives you five points. Uh, for covering yes. up that top row. Yes. Anything else that I missed? No. Okay. That's it. Uh, so that slides down. 1969. Hmm. Is 1969... Yeah, there's only there's four like, cards yeah. with a later date on it. Yeah. Correct. So the chances of that happening are slim to none at this point. It's probably best that I start a new run and get the points I need to offset a very bad second trek score. So if I were to do that, what would I pick? I need greens, blues, and reds. Well, yellows are yeah. What has that's five time really? <laughs> but as two crystals, a wild and a blue, that's actually not bad. Um, it's actually well, this one isn't bad either because it's fifteen ten. That's one of the earlier cards on here. Um, but hmm. I'm very tempted. It's either it's a, it's either this or this. By taking this, I'm getting a crystal, and a wild and a blue. But in taking this, I'm limiting my options. Okay, I may. All right, I think I have to go for two wilds or two blues. And if I make that a wild, that's two blues. I would need one more blue and one more green. This is tough. Yeah, it is. Ancestors at this point wouldn't help. I mean, I could keep, just keep taking ancestors um, to, to delay the inevitable. But then again, I want these 10 points. So I'm trying to figure out how best to do that. Um, okay. Let's go with... Um, That would be bad for you. That would end your run if you took that one. Okay. So what I'll do is I'm going to end my current run, or my current trek. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take 1510 to give myself some options. I'm going to reduce this to... If I reduce that to 1, I would go anyway. You know, I'm going to reduce this by 1. So that's 1, 2, 3. And I would go next. These move over? Uh, well, I'll take a oh, yellow, yeah. which is a crystal, mm -hmm. and a I get and a, a blue and a wild. So, blue and wild. <laughs> uh, blue and wild. Yeah, there you go. I got it. I got Itinerary. It. Schedule. <laughs> Schedule. These yes. slide down, and I'm on top, so I get to go again. Yes. Okay. So, now what I may want to do is... Where were you? 1901? <laughs> no, 1209. <laughs> 1209. Um, okay. I think what I'm going to do is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I, I kind of want to fill in other things too. So what I may do is I may spend... Um, let's do three crystals. I'm going to spend three. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this one, 1849. Mm -hmm. And it's five. But 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I'm going to spend... Three crystals mm -hmm. to go back one, two, three mm -hmm. to nine o'clock. Very nice. And that gets me a blue, a crystal, mm -hmm. a wild, and another crystal. Mm -hmm. um, so wild. wild is, I'm going to put mm -hmm. that on green here ah, so I can get these 10 points done. Very nice. 
So 43. Mm -hmm. And these slide, and I believe it is your turn. Okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what, you don't like 12 I actually wanted that card so bad. <laughs> that was a good one. I well, you have no crystals. That would have ended your run. Oh, I can't. that's right. I can't spend crystals on the same turn. Yeah, that would have ended my run. You would have, had you taken that card, you would have ended to your run. To be honest, I think I'm going to have to end my run anyways. Uh, well, not really. You've got five time. And this is two, three, 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 four. So 1947, well, 1909. I mean, you could do any of these except for this one. Yeah. All right, let's see. What is my best option? I don't know. I don't know how to play this game. No, oh, right. please. <laughs> <laughs> You've been playing it for the last 45 minutes. Uh, okay, so if I did that, I wouldn't have any crystals to do. If she always says that and then she wins. No, I don't. <laughs> we don't know how to play. Oh, did I get 300 victory points? No. And you got what, 70? Okay. No. I don't know how to play. I'm going to take 1947. All right, and that gives you a crystal. Crystal and a wild and a crystal. That's I good. got the wild. Okay. And I'm going to get another crystal. Wow. Crystalling it up. Yeah. Those are worth one at the end of the game. How many point, uh, times at four? Yes. Now, you didn't have any crystals <laughs> to spend prior. Yeah. But now you can get a card worth four and still, like, yeah. end up exactly here. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If you spent all your crystals. Yeah. Okay, 1849. These two are out. Um, so it's going to be one of these three. Question is, which ones do I want? Um, they're all three times, so it really doesn't matter. Um, this would go to waste, because that's two green and one red. Whereas this is a red, a yellow... Oh, okay, I'm going 1909. Mm -hmm. um, well, here's the thing. If I take 1901 first... That yellow goes here. Now that would go to waste anyway. If I take 1909 and I spend a crystal, I go again. I could then take 1955. No, then I wouldn't land exactly on... I wouldn't get those exact three points. Oh, what do I want to do? Decisions, decisions. See, you have the option to... Don't look at my board. I know <laughs> what you're doing. Oops. <laughs> wow. How rude. <laughs> Let me look at the day. Get out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> look at the distribution. Wow. That's awful. Look at my round turn. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take 1909. That's funny. Uh, so it's red and yellow and a crystal. Actually, I'm going to spend two crystals to reduce that to one. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, so I get a crystal mm -hmm. and a red and a yellow. Very nice. The yellow is 5 and the red is 2, so that's 7. 7 plus 43 is 50. Um, and these slide down. Mm -hmm. And because I'm further back, I get to go again. Um, ideally, I want a green and a red. Is there anything here that would help me do that? Green and red, 1955. I think I planned that right. Yep, I can spend one crystal to reduce this to two, from three to two. So I get three punctuality points, plus crystal, which is one point, and then red and green. So that's three and two, that's five. So 52 is 57. Okay, uh, I think I am out of the current round. I wanted that card. <laughs> Damn you so much. Family friendly video. Family friendly. Darn you. <laughs> so much nonsense. Schedule. Schedule. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What can I do? I can do nothing. Also <laughs> nothing. Uh, <laughs> Try and get a blue at least. Uh, a red, a blue, and a yellow would get you 10 points. If you can swing it. Not a yellow, green. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, red, blue, and green. I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. Which I don't I mean, see. I, I could just start a new run and do it, <laughs> but that would be minus three points. I would lose out on two points. Where do you get that? Right here. Red, oh, blue, yeah, yeah. You'd have to start. Yeah, you'd lose three points for having a run of one. At the yeah, end of the game. 
know. Is it worth? You get seven points as a as a. Yeah. No, I would need two glues. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> All right. I think I'm gonna have. I have no choice. Uh, I have to. Oh my gosh, it's awful. Falafel. Very falafel. Super falafel. So full. You know what? <laughs> uh huh. You know what? I think I'm gonna do it just to do it. That's the only one I can get, unless I get the question mark. You mean, yeah, all of these dates are, yeah, 1947 is like. The only one I can get is this one. 1990. Yeah. yeah so you can get a red and a yellow, which doesn't really do anything. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's one get, turn and I get punctuality. And you score three points for your crystals at the end of the game. Yeah, or I can do, so, okay, wait, so that's three, and this would be six. Okay, so six points. If I got the the ancestor, that would be, I would have to do two. That would be a two right there. So I think either way, it doesn't matter. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it's whatever you want to do. I'm just going to go with this one. It's fine. All right, so... I like the art better on this one. So what is it? One time. So you get three points for being punctual. One, two, mm -hmm. three. And you get and a yellow a and a red. Just a red. It's fine. Okay. Oh, I wish I went with you, card. <laughs> Schedule. All right, well, that ends the game. Mm -hmm. um, now we look at final victory, which is uh, your current points plus one victory point per unspent crystal. You had three. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. I had one. Oh, up that way. And then we score for our current run and any existing runs that we had. Um, this is four and that's four, right? Mm -hmm. So that's both four points each. Man. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I had uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, wow, that's so... You had way more cards than I did. So... 30 plus, it's three points per card past 10, mm -hmm. so that's 36. Yep. 36 plus 62 is uh, 98. Yes, 98. So I'm almost at 100 there. Wow. What, what, how many did you have, 10? 30. 30 points for that. Yeah. yeah. So 30 plus 48 is 78. Okay. Which is here. That's it. And that is, that is it. How did you like this game? I love this game. I want to play it again. I want to rematch. <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic. I, I love the art. I love how simple it is to play, but I love the choices and the mm -hmm. time, like the time track. There's a lot of strategy oh, yeah. and what you pick. Cause not only are you worried about your chronological dates, but and not only are you worried about filling up certain points on your card, you're also trying to gauge, okay, if I spend a crystal, I land directly on my opponent. Is there a card I want mm -hmm. to take now? Or should I let them take a turn to, to hopefully clear up something that, you know what I mean? So, like, there's a lot of things to think about. I normally don't like thinking like that. That's not my forte. And I loved it here. Mm -hmm. I really, This is kind of a shock to me that I actually liked it this much. I want to keep playing this. This is really fun. <laughs> this kind of reminds me a little bit of Canvas. Canvas. And, well, it's Canvas is a little different. It is definitely different. But the art and the way that these things move down and that you have to, like, choose... Mm -hmm. The paintings and I don't know. There's strategy behind that too, but this was a lot of fun, man. Mm -hmm. I love that each card has its own little story yes. to tell information on the back. Yes. I love that. So the art, A+. plus. <laughs> All of this is great. And the quality of the card, they're pretty thick. Yeah. They're like the... Like the glossy. Uh, glossy the, kind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and there's these other schedules... <laughs> That we didn't, there's like 24 of them, I think. They're numbered too. Um, I just, you just shuffle them up and deal four to each player. But yeah, you can see there's quite a bit of difference between them. That's pretty cool. And I love that you get four of them. So if there's one that you really don't like, mm -hmm. you can just not use it. Um, I am curious just to see. Um, Go for it. <laughs> I just want to know what is in this time warp thing. Mm hmm. Um, okay, so the two types of time warps activated. Um, these will show an hour cost number on them. These can only be used once per day by each player. 
unlimited. These have an uh, infinity symbol in place of an hour cost. Their effects will be the full last the full day. Player turn changes. On your turn, instead of taking a history or ancestor card, you may use an activated time warp. These must be like special cards that you can earn as you play, but... Cool, like special abilities? Yeah, I guess, but it doesn't tell me how to like... Um, it doesn't tell me how to set up. Is there a setup area? Time warps. Okay, this includes... Oh, there's more in here. This, oh, wow. this is a full... This is like a folded rule book. Very cool. So, yeah, it looks like you'll deal these out possibly and then use these ability. Like, here's an infinite rest of the day kind of... When you land another player's pocket watch, each player with a pocket watch beneath yours gains one... Or two victory, two victory points. points. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, when you gain... A history card, if it's years earlier than the earliest year in your current track, add it to the beginning of your current track. Wow. Wow, okay. So there's a lot of ways to break the rules. These are, uh, let's see, the one-offs. For one time, give another player one of your purple if you do gain a card. Um, place a history card from the departures row under your reference card. You may gain it on a future turn. Wow. So you can reserve a card. I would rage with those abilities. <laughs> <laughs> those are some powerful stuff. That's yeah. fun, though. I would totally do that. I am obsessed with these cards. You love the art. I'm, hold on. How many cards did you pick just because of the art? Not because they made chronological sense. But... I should have. I didn't do that. <laughs> I was actually trying to win a little yeah, bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, there was no BBCEs in day three. Well, oh, yeah, there's, there's one. one. Yeah, just again, in case you guys missed it at the beginning of the video, here's a breakdown of the distribution of the cards for each of the days. So yeah. if you want to pause the video and you want to look at that in greater detail, go ahead. But that is the distribution of the dates. You've got like, what, 10 to 12 BCE here, then maybe like eight here, and then one in day three. Wow. And then down here, 1994 is as, as low as it is. Uh, as, Far in the present as it goes, so not bad. Fantastic! I, I love Fantastic. this game. This is this is one of those game of the year DGA award mm -hmm. things. I think easily. I'm really shocked that I really like this. This is this is really fun. They this this company also has like trekking through the world. There's some other variants of this game I may ask about. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I I highly highly recommend trekking through history. Fantastic game, beautiful components, easy to play, but lots of tactical decisions to make i think a disney expansion pack oh tracking through disney that oh, would disney cost them movies? too much money yeah that's true it costs what four thousand dollars just to stay at the star wars room for one night no way they would i would take <laughs> the board photos. game would cost five hundred dollars a box i'm just saying trekking through history if you guys haven't already subscribed to me on twitch and youtube that way you can stay up to date with any new content i'm going to publish this is vincent Adelie. thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time bye guys